First of all, let's have a look at the different loops. You can use them to intensify the exercises in different ways later on. I'll just take the middle loop and grip it with my fingertips, not with my palm, but always with my fingertips. Put the band on your back first with your palms facing outwards. Arms are extended and now we go into a light stretch. First, and then we move the band away from the body. Please always breathe deeply. So each exercise should always be breathable. Never hold your breath. We hold each exercise with about five breaths. And slowly release. Rest the back of your hands on your buttocks. Hips push forward. Toes work into the floor. Chest pulls up. And please keep your chin on your chest. Push the hips forward as far as possible. But always stay in front in activation. And then you can go further and further into the back bend. And your chest is always thinking upwards until you have reached your maximum in a position. And then you slowly come out again and we do a little counter movement. Just hang forward very loosely into the forward bend. Move your head a little so that your neck doesn't stiffen up and come back up. Very good. Second position, we again take the band into with our fingertips open into a slight stretch, but don't start at the buttocks, but rather at shoulder height. And from here, move the band far backwards. You can move your head very every now and then so that the neck doesn't stiffen up. And then you go into a maximum chest shoulder opening. Your hands tend to point downwards like a towel that we would like to twist. And then you breathe here again for five breaths, completely relaxed. and release. Back bend variation two. We now release the hands from the buttocks. We do a free back bend. The chest pulls up, hips forward, toes still working into the floor, but without the hands supporting on the, buck on the buttocks. Chin remains on the chest and breathe into your maximum position. Now we grab the band again, place it on your back again, but we now go into the band with the back of the hands facing forward. Now we go into the forward bend, the variation two. We go into a light stretch with the band to the front and make the back more round towards the ceiling. You now Make yourself as long as possible and we think ourselves downwards, but also move upwards with the back so that you achieve a maximum length in your back chain as a counter movement to the back bend. Slowly come back up, turn your shoulders out a little and open your hands again. Remember that crunching finger effect. Hands are now approximately at the back of the head and we move into the chest shoulder variation, a slightly more intense variation now with the lever, keeping the head in check that the neck doesn't tense. Move from the back of the head backwards into the opening and breathe through our five breaths again in this chest shoulder variation. Slowly release, briefly loosen. Now we go into a more intense back bend. This means we create a lever with our arms stretched upwards. Just imagine that you're like a sail that gets the wind from behind. Your hips are pushed forward, your arms are up and you move once to your limit which you can still control, 
and then you come out again. We push the back of the hand towards the floor. There is always a slight stretch on the band and you come into slightly more intense forward bend. And this is also more intense, an intense balancing for the intense back bend. Put the band down for now and let's take care of our arms. Now look for a wall. Depending on how high you reach, the more intense the whole thing is. I'll start at the bottom. Palm against the wall, fingers pointing downwards, and please take the position that feels good to you. However, the aim is to get our, your hand over your shoulder. The palm of your hand presses against the wall and the other arm opens. It is important that both elbows are fully extended and that pressure is always exerted with the fingers on the wall. This means that if I were to pull on your finger, I would not be able to pull it away. Breathe, relax. Come onto the mat. I'll do it sideways, then you can see it better. We pull the chest. We pull the chest back up so that we are maximally elongated in the front. And now we come into the straddle. Please give pressure to the inside so that when you stand on the mat, you can imagine that there is a wave in the middle of the mat. Always pull the chest up. This is a connection between the straddle and the back bend. In this position, we get a very good traction on the so-called pectineus, which is one of the adductors that has a very hip bending position and function. With the back of your hand, you can always support yourself on the buttocks. And now we will take the other hand on the wall, palm facing forwards, fingers pointing downwards. You again choose a position that feels good to you. Just as you can still keep your arm, arm stretched with the aim, of course, that your hand comes over your shoulder again at some point. If it doesn't work at the beginning, your other arm opens, chest pulls upwards. Always press yourself properly against the wall so that you really exert activation. And it is best to simply look at your right hand in this case. Try to come more and more into the opening. Very good. Relax everything a little. Grab your band again. Now we'll do the whole band supported, assisted. That will be a bit more intense. The right hand now has the support and this band, the further forward it is, the harder the exercise will be. Please feel your way slowly inner and again, find your position exactly the same as before. And with the other hand, we now give a slight pull so that the acti activation on the wall is intensified so that your hand is really forced to exert activity. Open the chest, always look at your hand. In this case, now the left hand. Breathe and try to open more and more. Very good. Hands again supported on the buttocks. Into the desired position, chest pulls up. And we go into the back bend. I'll turn sideways for you, then you see me even better. Very good. Always support yourself well. Now we take the left hand on the wall. And again, decide whether the band should be on the palm of your hand or on your fingers. It is much harder on the fingers than on the palm of your hand. Please feel your way slowly in there. 
With the other hand, we give the pressure. It doesn't matter where the band lies. We only give the intensity forwards. Look open, chest up, and breathe deeply. I'll increase the pressure a little more. You can also try out different positions with the other hand and release the exercise. Now you've done it.